Welcome back guys. I was so excited to show you the splashing of magic that I forgot to show you this one important part of fixing her up. People have been commenting saying that the coach house looks so beautiful. What did I do and how did I get it to look so nice? Well, let me show you. All right, I just caught these guys hard at work. So let's find out what they've been doing out here in the sun. Before you do that, show them that there's dogs chasing a cow. Oh. We're literally in a marina where dogs are chasing a cow. Yeah, you can see the cow right there at the back behind that boat. <laughs> wow, it has been quite the day on board uh, Magic Woman. I've been sanding, but I've taken a break because it's about 4 p.m. now, I think, just after 4. And my whole body feels like it's going from taking that hand sander. And so, exciting news, guys. We are going to be painting the coach house. We had some white paint left from painting the sides of the boat. And I was like, hey, what about painting the coach house? And they're all like, mm, yeah, you need to do anti skid. So, I'm going to show you how you can do anti-skid with beach sand. I've never seen this done, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna save myself lots of money. You're probably gonna think I'm crazy and clever at the same time. We'll see how it works out. Right now, I'm cleaning these hatches because they're gonna be painted as well. And Kevin, my man, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. It's quite a warm day for the first time in a while. The Cap and I have been sanding, as you can see. He yeah. would sand it with the machine and I would use water to go over it another step. And now he's taking his break, so I've taken over the machine for a bit. All right. And I got this thing to do my hair grow. You're armed with heavy machinery now. That's correct. <laughs> my turn. All right. Good luck, man. Thanks, man. I just took off all this black stuff here that's really nice and grimy with my little egg spatula. I'm gonna sand it very nicely with 80 grit sandpaper and then I'll go over it with uh, water sandpaper and water 180 grit and then we're gonna tape it up and then we're gonna sand it. Look how bad it looks man. It just doesn't look so nice at all. This we hit with an 80 sandpaper and then with water and sandpaper 180 grit and because we're gonna do an anti-skid type sand uh, beach sand effort here uh, you don't really have to go softer or more fine than that. On the sides though, however, I'm gonna go up to 280 grit. But don't you think it's gonna look so much better, this all nice and white and anti-skid up here. And then if I wanna use the boat for charters to make some money, then it'll look nice. Plus, people can sit here and it's gonna look nice. What do you think, Kevin? It's a genius idea. What is that, mate? It's not drugs. It's not drugs. <laughs> is I that not drugs? drugs? Are you sure? No, thank you. I, I know we're in water. Latin America right now, but... No, I do water. I like water. Water. water and cocaine, that is. That's powder, but it's not cocaine. Don't do drugs. Are you kids. sure? Don't I let me catch you. Don't doing, let me yeah. catch you with drugs in my boat. Ain't no drugs in this boat, yeah? It's only water. <laughs> so, when it comes to sanding, what you do is you put a perfectly, perfectly cut piece of 80 grid paper 80 grid because we don't want to take too much of the powder off press into the grain always on the side because if you go up it pulls out and that is sanding 101 so show us sure mate show us you say make sure it's smooth you press that's some of the teeth and you see how it's worn and, and then this is the stuff that I've been oiling and treating In other projects, we are getting ready to paint the top side, the coach house. So, there's been a lot of preparation on the boat today while I was busy with the windlass. Lisa over here. Hi. Look at that. It looks like we are going to have like a big crab eating competition in Maryland with some old bay with all this paper, brown paper. So. What we're going to do is everywhere that you see that it's not covered right now, it's going to be sprayed white, okay? On the top side here, on the coach house roof, it's going to be done with some sand, so anti-skid, okay? So anti-skid here, anti-skid there, anti-skid there in the back. On the sides, however, that all here, 
is going to be painted with the uh, spray gun. The hatches, I'm busy cleaning this one right here because that needs to be done. And also this white piece of the bowsprit, I'm also going to clean, take these off and make sure they look nice again. I decided not to do the sides, the white here and the white there. And purely just because of time, effort and money. For now, when you look at the boat from afar, you see this. It's taken about four hours of prepping just with a paper and about three days of sanding. So it's been, um, it's been quite a project, but it's gonna make a big difference. And this is where I took out the windlass. So the windlass goes there and it was looking really bad. I mean, the wood already looks really bad because it's old and needs to be replaced, but that thing looks bad. The Samson post here looks kind of scruffy. That old white, like just, uh, just want to make it shine a little bit. So, and that's going to be nice and white as well. That's what's happening on board Sailing Vessel Magic Woman right now. It's happening! Right behind me, the coach has been painted. There's Papo doing a fantastic job. Stefan, you say it's hot today, right? My friend, that is an understatement. I am boiling. This water is, comes out of the freezer with little ice drop, ice thingies in it. And about 15 to 17 minutes later, it's like mild, hot. You can have tea with it. Freezing. It's not the right day to paint, guys, because <laughs> when you paint, you don't want it to be this hot. But we just don't have any other option which I'm a little bit stressed out. That's why I'm like walking around, just looking at everything going, <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Oh, 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 what about this? Ah, I see it dripping, I see it dripping because it's like dripping down, but Papa knows what he's doing. We're in a rush for time, guys. We have to get this done, so got to do what you got to do. You unwrapping your Christmas present? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! What's under the paper? A boat! It's a boat! Oh wow! Look at the white sides of that! Oh, that looks beautiful! And I just noticed Stefan doing something interesting involving sand. So I'm gonna go find out what's up with that. What is happening over here? So this is something I've never done before, which excites me and scares me at the same time. Um, I do not have the anti-skid that I wanted to have for the coach house and because of mostly money constraints to be honest um, I didn't get the all grip that I'm supposed to to put on top but this guy behind me Papo is a professional painter and he said listen we can do it with sand and so in my broken Spanish I've been trying to figure out how we're gonna do it and now I see I bought the paint yesterday the sand is not beach sand it's clean sand that I bought so you put one layer of paint then you put the sand and then you let it dry. You put another layer on top of that, as he's doing right now. And then you wait that for that to dry and then you put another layer. And so that's going to be the new anti-skid on Magic, guys. Right? Naranja. Ja, auch mal her. Her.
Good morning! I just arrived to uh, Magic Woman, this beautiful boat, and uh, gonna do some more work on the coach house. It's been well over a week now. We've been giving the coach house a makeover. We've been sanding and painting, putting the anti-skid sand on. Um, I've spent the last many days uh, oiling the teak and making it look nice. And uh, just to give you an idea, uh, this here, that's some of the teak on the, um, in the cockpit. And you see how it's kind of old and worn and faded and then this is the stuff that I've been oiling and treating doesn't it look absolutely gorgeous oh my goodness it's so stunningly beautiful um, however I have just arrived this morning and noticed that a bird crapped on my fresh beautifully oiled teak and that makes me a little upset but that's life, and as long as it's not woodpeckers like pecking holes in the mass, I think we should count our blessings. So whatever little birdie did that, you know, that's okay. <laughs> so today, I'm gonna be oiling the windows. So there's a, a nice before shot of the outside of the windows. I've already sanded it yesterday. I just lightly sanded it with some 80 um, number 80 sandpaper and let's see if we can make it look more like that should be beautiful when I'm done That's how we barbecue in the Dominican Republic, guys. See you later. Okay, guys, we have a new Caterpillar color Isuzu engine right here, and I'm so happy about that. And how did the engine installation go today? It's in the boat. It's gonna take some time. <laughs> That's it. It's, in it's the gonna boat. take some time. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. If you haven't done so already, please smash that subscribe button, hit a like, post a comment and consider becoming one of my patrons and support my work. Next week, we get our hands really dirty in fixing this beauty that I call Magic Woman. Remember, you're awesome and you can overcome anything you want. See you next time right here.